I said, okay, I will do whatever it takes to take this step. And what step was that? We didn't know. Didn't know, but I knew it was the next step for me. And so that night, I woke up at 2 or 3 in the morning, and I had blood coming out of my mouth. Ooh. Now, I, being a dentist, I knew it wasn't my gums bleeding. So I woke up and said, I think I need to go to the emergency room. Okay. Now, I hadn't been to a doctor's office for 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> Not even for a checkup? No. Nothing? Mm-hmm. So we're here in the middle of the night, evergreen in the middle of the mountains. I had seen an urgent care down there on the parkway, and we drove up there, closed. So we called 911, and the lady says, the nearest emergency room is down in Denver. So here we go, driving down to Denver, found the place, walked in, and the doctor says, what do you mean you got blood coming out of your mouth? I said, do you have a, a basin? And I opened my mouth, and the doctor said, a liter of blood came out of my mouth. It gushed. It absolutely gushed out of his mouth. So the doctor said, okay, I got it. (laughs) (laughs) I got their attention. And um, emergency rooms are wonderful. I just love them. Man, they got crash carts. They got... They are jumping on things, and in a few minutes, we, I had 20 people around me. I said, well, that's a way to get attention. <laughs> so as it progressed, they sedated me. They brought in the ENT guys. They scoped it out. Now I'm sedated. And they go tell her, don't leave. We don't know what's going to happen. They had no idea what was causing the bleeding. They didn't know how to stop it. And they they said very honestly, we have no clue. And so... Well, then I woke up a day later in the ICU with all these tubes coming out of me. And I'm thinking, wow, this isn't what I thought it was going to (laughs) take. And that then started the journey of uh, the consciously the journey of what has come. 